Resolutions broke out by Mr. President among the stakeholders and rivers uh, bring lasting solution and resolve the political crisis in that part of the country. Are we going to see all the 31 members of the House of Assembly sit together and also Governor Fubara representing the 2024 budget to that number? Uh, are we going to also see uh, some sort of a resolution in that regard from um, what we have witnessed in the past weeks? I guess time will tell. But my guest is Chairman Rivers Elders and Leaders Forum, a former governor of Rivers State Chief Rufus Adad George CON. Thank you so much for talking to us this morning. Quickly, if you can hear me, um, Chief Adad George, um, some have made reference to as far back as 1999, you know, between you and your, your successor, Peter Odili, who I believe was your deputy while you were governor between 1992 and 1993. Uh, some have drawn a nexus of bad blood between subsequent governors and their successors. Um, Odili, Amechi, Amechi Wike, and now Wike Fubara. What do you think is responsible for this history of hostility? Well, that is exactly what we're trying to strive to find out and to correct. It's true that there's been a little bit of hostility between former governors and their deputies in the state, where well, most of the strife comes after the administration. To this reason, to this cause, I have in, I initiated a move on the 16th of this month, after we issued the, the elders press con uh, state, uh, press conference, the uh, the community. I issued a statement and that I would like to invite and discuss with all the former governors. I spoke to Peter Odile, I called him on the phone, I spoke with him, it was very amicably, and I am still waiting for his response. He told me he was going to call me last Sunday, I'm still waiting for uh, his uh, call. I, Oh, my, we we'll probably will have to, you know, work on that um, network and hopefully we can continue our conversation with the former governor of River State, um, particularly when you consider the fact that this is not the first time that governors are having issues with their successors. Perhaps it's the first time that we're seeing, you know, this happen between two individuals who supported each other on election year. Each other. It seems that um, Chief Ada George is back. We lost you for a minute, but I guess you were talking about a call you put across to Peter Odili and that you're expecting him to return. <laughs> we have to work on that so we can hear you clearly uh, perhaps we'll return to that conversation uh some in a few minutes um, but interesting developments coming from river state with the resolution let's open the phone lines and get your own reaction you know someone called earlier who was making reference to something he had on another channel but we want to know what you think about this uh, we had olufemi called in from london who was of the opinion that this is the right step in the right direction but how it will play out is another story entirely. In the coming days, we expect to get some reaction. Chivada George, if you can hear me, we lost you for a minute, but you mentioned the efforts you have made to find out what the issues are, you know, between previous governors and their successors. Yes, I did. And uh, I don't know whether you're hearing me. Yes, I can hear you I now. I can hear you now. Please go we ahead. Did I, I did, and I mentioned that I spoke to Governor Odile, I spoke to Governor Michi. We all promised that within a short time we will get back to each other and we will start arranging a meeting to solve the problem. And I hope that will lay the background towards the part of the solution between. Uh, the immediate governor, the incumbent governor, and the past governor. So we have a flowing relationship between all of us. 
I think that will soon be done. I was talking to the two of them in relation to our community and in portion of that, I think that I'm talking to them and I think uh, Governor Daly will call God back to me. Governor Mitch, when he comes back, will get back to me. And uh, all that people I've spoken to will get back to me. And we set the ball rolling very soon. But personally, what do you think the issue is but, here? You don't think it's a coincidence that in the past three decades thereabout, there's a rich history of um, disagreements and hostility among these individuals. What do you think is the issue? The, what I think is that there is, by talking, we we'll get to find out what the solution, what the reasons are for these uh, coincidences. We are unable to find out now until we get together. But in most cases, I discover that it is as a result of misinformation, misinformation, you know, and people not being careful to find out what the true positions are, and probably the supporters trying to highlight this misinformation, and uh, it escalates. So we'll find out the true cause of this situation, this relationship in the past. And as I said earlier, it's only after the administration. Within the, during the administration, the relationships are perfect. I remember my relationship with Peter Adele, though our period was short, was very cordial. Very, very cordial. Uh, Adele and his deputy never had any strained relationship. And I think they still managed it very well. Amici and... Uh, Mickey, of course, uh, it was not the direct governor, deputy governor relationship with the governor to the chief of staff, I think something like that. And uh, well, we are having these two friends coming together, having this relationship sour at the beginning, just less than five months relationship sour. The others, at least, were able to manage their relationship Till after the governorship, after they left office, before probably one thing or the other, it solved to survive. So we'll find out. When we start talking to ourselves, we'll be able to determine what the facts were, where we went wrong, and to correct the relationship. Thank you. Just hold that thought for a minute, Chief. Let's um, get a caller in. Mazi Okura for us called in from Arochuku. Mazi, good morning. Good, good morning, my brother. And for me, compliments of the season. I wish you the same. Yeah, we thank Mazi Okura for Arochuku. Well, if we talk, if we look at the, the scenario now going on in River State, I think there are two options. One, the governor, if you want to keep to the rules and regulation of the agreement, that's number one. If you don't want to keep on, what do you do? Throw in your towel. Reason. What are the lessons we are going to learn from uh, what is going on in River State? One, if you know that you enter into an agreement at the onset, before the nominate you from the uh, political party primary, and you cannot keep it, don't go. Two, the agreement you are going to enter, you have to look at the advantages and disadvantages before you enter. And three, the governorism has come to create a very big uh, 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 hole in Nigerian politics. That means the youth we are talking about of tomorrow, many of them, they have no political will. They are not technocrats in the sense that unless somebody will push you, because if you look at what is going on now, you see, during campaign, the young man was not talking. He would just stand there and just, uh, we can do the whole thing. I was, I was asking myself, is that how he's going to go back at the onset when they started that campaign? Not the question of when they, 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 they when they started the campaign. At the end of the day, they are just sitting there as they too. But the thing is that it has happened, that they do, we have no option. But number four or number five, there are two things that is going to play came now in River State which people don't know. High school in River State, 
the first device of technology in this country, I school there. Now, what did I discover? Equally and the job, there are two different things. And the Ogoni people, there are two different things. And let's bring the query that are in the top of the government now, and in the, the, the from Wiki side, and the job people. Now, the job people will now feel that they are being cheated. Let me borrow a little from what's happening in other states. I'm from other states. Arushuku, my village is Atari Village, the Zindu Party, Atari Arushuku. What is plain? When nobody came on board, the Ingwa people feel that the government belongs to them, that they will be detecting whatever that is happening. What does the Oti have to take his own uh, great 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 grandfather's uh, origin to Ungwa land? That was why Oti came on board. That was why, upon that, the father was not giving him a free hand. At the end of the day, the people at them decided that they would vote for the Labour Party. That was why Oti came on board. Oti now was the Oti had to start developing that they said from the Ungwa area where. It was just claimed that he's from Britain. But he's from Arochuku. I agree that he's uh, the, the great great grandfather that is from, uh, 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 what do they call it, Ingwana. Now, that is what is playing now in the river state. That the river state owners, you could have come on board. If you check where during campaign, I met him, sang a music. I met him said that if APC is to win that time, a candidate for APC, that they abandon property in All right. that place in the river state to be given back to the owner. People raise a serious alarm. Indeed. But then about no property is still in there. But I pray one day, one day, then about no property will come back to the owners. All right. Where are the people dominating the abandoned property? It's equally. So All right. they are not thinking that the river state belongs to equally. I get your point, Marzi. Now, it's playing the game. Ask yourself, you're going to pay for. I don't think that, that, that came into play at all. I'm afraid that's your time. State. Please go ahead. I can, I I don't think that the issue of abandoned property has ever come into play at all in the politics or history, modern politics or history of uh, river state. Mm. So that issue does not arise. If there, there is no state where ethnic, some fashion of ethnic consideration is not into play, they come to play. We have no quarrel with equities and uh, other ethnic groups. The equities have been in government, the other ethnic groups have been in government. Uh, the Amici is equally, Mike is equally, you know, and uh, there is no way Bumiha is equally. We are not b considering that into play, into what is happening. With the fact that uh, Fuwara is a river line, and we knew who was River Ryan before he helped him to come into play. Amici had sponsored River Ryan candidates, Peter Sai, the, the Lekul. So those things are not into play at this time. I'd like to correct that point. But are you concerned about uh, conversations ongoing in rivers in this regard? There are, you know, councils in Ejo, for instance, who are threatening fire and brimstone if the governor is removed because it's from their region. What's being done to play down the ethnic division dimension of this uh, that, disagreement? That's why we are praying for peace because it is true uh, Fubara is a job. And people are misconstruing or misreading what is playing now. Now how can, after maybe 16, 18 years, 20 years of uh, equal rulership, the German is coming and you are not giving him a chance, even for five months, to stay completely, assess his uh, rule, assess his performance. And they are uh, breaking up things, which facts, which are not explainable, which have not been explained to the people to accuse him and probably use those to impeach him. That is why the use. And we have gone into the field explaining to them mm. that we don't think that is safe and that they should be quiet. And that's why we are conscious, we are conscious that whatever reasons they are giving to now recall people and uh, give unconcluded reason that the governor should you no know, impeachment notice should be taken against the governor and living in time without time even if they said for the next four years 
and all the other concessions are made, it means a lot that they don't, they don't just withdraw their charges in the next two weeks. They find a reason to substitute new charges to impeach the governor. But one you know, reason why some would say that's why perhaps the governor should also stick to the plan and the agreement. We don't know what agreement they had before the election. But some will say it is perhaps why the governor also has to observe status quo, particularly with the political structure that brought him to power, bearing in mind that it's a just time. There, there could not be any other plan apart from the plan they come back to the public before they are put. If they, if you agree that plan, you are a politician that yourself. We don't know that. Job. You know, we don't know that. We don't know what they, we don't know the conversations they had, you know, before coming to the public. That's what I'm trying to explain. If they had other plans, other agreements before coming, that is exclusive. I should not generally interfere openly with what is applicable, the points they canvas before the election, before the, before the people. So, if the, what is coming openly to us now, based on the resolutions reached and the basis which we are going to judge, then we say whatever they have canvassed uh, privately, is known for them, but the one that is public to us, there is the view that the governor attempts are being made to impeach the governor. So if there is a resolution to receive that, it should be conclusive, at least. If they are going to withdraw it, and they should not impeach him within the next four years, this is the period of uh, the duration of the political period. Since they are going to leave the House of Assembly members, which is not in, in conformity with what law says now because of the actions which they have taken, then they should also make this conclusive one way. So they just, some of the youths have been arrested. Mm. They are really received as they just want to arbitrarily throw away the only the person, the person they have from the government. And that is a serious thing. And that is why we, the youth, the, the elders, have gone into the field talking to some of them. We are reaching, appealing to them that we are achieving peace. We must need peace and for progress. So that is why we are. There. But so if there is. Anything they reach privately, that is not known. That is not in the public domain. They know how to manage themselves. But the things that are in the public domain, they are the things we are talking about. So um, we have an eight-point resolution before us. You have seen it, and you've also commented on how you differ to some of those points. But what's your prediction about what will happen in the coming days? Uh, because you are closer to you know, the parties involved. Are you quite optimistic that this is it and this will end the hostility and the fightings that we have witnessed in the past months? Until we're able to speak with them, if they grant us opportunity, we speak with them. They individually grant probably individuals, but collectively as a body, they will not. If you're able to speak with them and assess the situation, then we'll be able to come to completion, but we are praying that this resolution should be able to help them consider peace moves and, in, and make sure they entail it, they, they accept the peace moves and maintain it. But until we're able to speak to them, as other people probably have had opportunity to speak to them, we are still making contact, we are still encouraging them, we are still telling the idea of peace. And so far, none of them have accused us that we are siding one or the one side to the other. We will maintain some level of dignity and neutrality Indeed. in the whole affair. You know, it's a national platform we're on now. What, what, uh, just in case Governor Fubara or former Governor Wiki or any of the you know, lawmakers are watching, what would you say to them at this time? Well, I will say to them, we are lucky the president has invited them for negotiation. There are a lot of speech, elder statesmen, people from the state, their communities, and so I've spoken to them. They should invite peace, they should ensure that they listen. And we, we brothers keep our 
and make sure they are good neighbors, they are good friends, they relate to each other, and they should talk. They should talk among themselves and invite elders also and talk to them, listen to them, and allow people to listen, to talk. We will employ them and bribe them to maintain peace. It's most essential because a state is a complex one. If there is no peace, you never can say the youth are arrested. Things are difficult in the state. The economic situation is very difficult. The place is volatile, not only in the states, in all the states, most of the states are the federation. If they don't maintain, if there's no peace seen from the two leaders, then probably no one can say what will happen. And we don't want anything to happen in the right. state or anywhere in the we look forward to better days ahead in Rivers. Chairman, Rivers Elders and Leaders Forum, from our Governor of Rivers State, Chief Rufus Adad, Judge C.O.N., thank you so much for talking to us on the program. Thank you. And thank you, everyone.